I worked for the airlines until 2009, and then after two, I, they put me on furlough, and I haven't, I really haven't worked full time since 2009. I was taking care of some Alzheimer's dementia patients who were dying. Then at a certain point, I uh, was asked to leave. Um, and I scrambled around trying to find a place to stay. It was like, God, you cannot leave me here homeless. You just can't. I, it's not possible. And yet I found myself homeless. And I was running out of couches and sofas and chairs to sleep on with friends. And, um, and I was really, I was really homeless. And I, I had spent a day or two uh, in my car. Luckily it was the summer, so it wasn't too bad. She was homeless. This is somebody we had to respond to, had to serve. That's who we are. You know that this is not um, follow some government rules about what you're allowed to do and not allowed to do. It's do what's right in the community and be nimble and responsive. Within a week after talking to Myrna and Myrna pushing the Natick Housing Authority, I had an apartment in Cedar Gardens. And um, that was huge. I didn't even have a can opener. Within a month, there were people who were moving from, uh, from the Jewish community who uh, were, gave me wonderful furniture, a couple of sofas, um, dining room table, chairs, uh, anything that I might need for my apartment. And so within a month, um, it was, it was uh, fully furnished. They didn't make me beg. You know, they came to me and said, what do you need? And I was re reluctant, you know. I, you, nobody wants to say, I need this, I need that. You know, I, it, it's not, that's not my way. I try to make my own way, but um, this is, I just fell into a hole. All our hard work in the last years of my entire staff and Jeff Best and our commitment from the board to family assistance has really culminated in our ability to be able to help somebody like Helene, really who, who as she said, she was in a hole that she did not uh, expect to be in, but if it weren't for us, it would have been very difficult for her to be able to survive in the community and to really uh, not be homeless. What happens is it makes you so appreciative of people and they usually say, just don't, don't thank me, just uh, you know, pay it forward. And that's what I love about JFS is you, you see, if you see a need, you pay it forward. People have helped you, then you want to help other people. So it's, it's an ongoing thing so that, that nobody is left kind of giving, 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 but all of us give to the extent that we can and give from our hearts and, you know, give, just give.